Hey, what's up? I'm Mike. This is Porch Chop Shop, and I'm super stoked about this one. Um, I have been saving up these parts and making some things um, for this one for quite a while now, and I'm just stoked to get into it. Um, so I'm going to be doing the fuel lines on the Falcon 620. I had ran rubber fuel lines before, but um, I'm ready to upgrade and get rid of the fuel smell and all the crap. So I got um, 5 16 aluminum line here, 5 16 rubber line. That's fuel injection rated, so that'll do the trick for us. That goes between the frame and the engine and the frame and the gas tank. Um, fuel filter, and then these special fuel injection hose clamps. A uh, couple of brackets that I made. The fuel pressure regulator, and mine is from Perrin. And I'll go over all these parts later as I go through it, but um, just kind of a quick what you need for this part and what I'm gonna do with it. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, straighten out these uh, hard lines and cut them a little bit longer than I need because I need to bend across a couple of uh, cross members and transmission mounts and things like that. So first thing I'm gonna do. Next thing to do is just prep the vehicle a little bit. Um, I gotta put the intake manifold on uh, to mock up the fuel pressure regulator and then get this thing up off the ground a little bit further because I gotta crawl around underneath there. Okay, got the truck up in the air. Um, I think I'm going to fill some of these holes. One of the brackets right there. Um, and then up front, it looks like I have a bracket already, so I'm gonna cut some of these brackets off, fill some of these holes, and then uh, go ahead and start bolting these brackets up so I can see where I wanna run these lines. Cleared out those, um, that was the um, load sensing uh, proportioning valve that comes on the 620. If you have a Dotson 620 and you are lowered, um, and you're still running that, then your brake distribution isn't correct. So I would delete that. I went ahead and got rid of those, and then I'm going to put the first uh, fuel line block back here, and um, I'll show you those blocks real quick. Okay, here's the 3D printed fuel and brake line holders that I made. These are printed out of ABS plastic, um, which has a melting point of like 230C. So the way this works is this rib nut will go into the frame, which I'll show all of this. So if it doesn't make sense, then um, you'll see it. So that one goes in the back like that after it's rib nutted. The fuel lines get clamped in between, and then that top block goes over the top like that. And then um, this bolt will go through and hold it onto the frame while clamping the fuel and the single brake line that goes back there. So got feed, return, whichever, and then a brake line. Um, so now let's install one and see how it looks. Bolted in place. Thing is rigid. I'll just do a few more of those uh, up the frame rail and bend and route the lines how I want, like them. Um, I gotta get a couple longer bolts than this so it has more than like two threads of engagement, but that'll work. I just wanted to touch on um, these brackets real quick. Just because it's ABS doesn't mean that it's guaranteed. Um, these aren't engineered. They haven't been reliability tested. They haven't been fatigue tested. It's just a bracket that I made. Um, uh, I don't have any concerns about them. If worst case scenario, a brake line falls onto a solid metal cross member and I'm able to hear it and catch it immediately. So um, this is just something for me, just for fun. So um, just as a disclaimer, there's that. So just because you can make a part doesn't mean that it's gonna work and stay reliable. So just a heads up. All right, let me give you a rundown real quick. Obviously I made these lines way too long because there needs to be some rubber bit in between the fuel filter, which mounts right there, and the, uh, and the hard line. So the hard line will mount down there. Lots of extra line back here too. It only needs to come to right here, again with rubber lines up to the gas tank. Um, 
But let me show you underneath. There we go. Second block right there, and then one back there. I'm gonna do another one on top of the transmission mount, and then that last one that I drilled the hole for right there, that'll come and do just a short little turn right here, and then terminate right there with the uh, AN fittings that I got. All right, a few lines are mounted up, but what I'm gonna do is I'll show you what it looks like under there, and then I'm just gonna mark these and then cut them outside of the truck and put the fittings on, because it's gonna be a pain to do it in here, so. There's coming down from the engine bay over the transmission cross member, my first frame brace. There's that. And unless you're building the show car engine bay, these hard lines don't need to be perfect, but you know, do whatever you want. And then back up and out over here. These are sturdy, stoked. So Mark Willis fittings need to go and uh, put those on and move on. Okay, so like I said, I'm going with a compression style fitting um, and then going to 5 16 compression hard line to dash six AN male and then dash six female AN to a single barb 5 16 of fuel injection hose is what I'm gonna run. And that will go up to the engine and the gas tank so that I have some rubber line so I can move between those two. So I'm just gonna throw one of these together and, and then I'll do the rest off camera. So the way these go together is the bottom part of the compression piece goes on and then this is the compression for rule. This is the part that actually gets smushed in there and seals up. And then this part goes on there. Screw that all together. We'll spray a little bit of lubricant in there because these are aluminum. And then the dash AN one doesn't take any tape or anything like that. You just, um, it seals on the, um, just the taper there and the taper on the inside. So I'll whack this together and we'll see what it looks like. All right, that is looking good. So I'll just um, put the rubber line over here and then use those fuel injection clamps and then uh, no more gasoline smell. I know people worry about hard lines, uh, like there's a lot of tools you need to do and uh, this is aluminum, it bends very easy and uh, it's really easy to work with. So as long as you get these fittings, then um, it shouldn't be a problem, you could do it. Alrighty, so obviously there's a little bit of YouTube magic going on right here. Not 100% sure I'm going to mount this right here. It's not a great location. Uh, it's where one of the electronics brackets goes, but I gotta make some sort of bracket to mount it down a little bit over here. Um, but I do want to mount it to the intake manifold, so if I have to pull the engine, I just have to disconnect these lines. Um, so. There's the hard lines coming up to those um, 5 16 fuel injection hoses like I was talking about. I have the fuel injection style hose clamps, which are a must if you um, are running soft line to fuel injection. Uh, I would 100% suggest it. Um, so this is the Perrin um, adjustable fuel pressure regulator. It's kind of designed with Subarus in mind. Um, it has dual dual rail feeds and returns. Um, I went with Perrin because they're a local company to me um, and they make top quality products. So um, I like to support my local businesses if I can. Um, and then, so I showed you the line routing under there. Coming back over here, this will be where it feeds out and then it'll come up to the gas tank. Those lines will just come right up through here and then um, bolt onto the fuel sending unit. But that's it, fuel system done. That's all mocked up. Obviously, like I said, I gotta make this last bracket and then uh, pressurize it and give it a test. Very excited and very happy with how that turned out. And those hard lines, like I said, they're pretty easy to work with as long as you um, get the right equipment. So. Thanks so much for watching this um, video on the fuel lines and fuel setup for the SR20 and the Datsun 620. If you guys like this video, um, consider subscribing. Uh, we're getting pretty close to 
firing this thing back up. Again, thanks for watching.